Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to From the Depths with me, Alathrix. And of course, welcome back to our lovely little dragonfly currently just gliding through space, seeking out some new targets, and eventually seeking a higher difficulty. In today's video, my only real goal was to get enough resources together to add a new weapon to the bottom of the craft. Now, I do also want to add some more weapons to the side of the craft, since right now our firepower is a little bit lacking, although effective, it is definitely lacking. What I would love to see is perhaps a set of parcel cannons on the bottom of the craft, almost definitely using the long range lenses, which will act as our kind of finishing weapon. So we fly towards the target using the railguns, we head on over them, and then suddenly particle doom all from the belly of the craft. That is kind of what I want to see. The problem is I definitely need more space in the stomach of this thing for this to work because these can get really big and I kind of want multiple of them just because I think that would look cooler. So we fly over and then just unleash utter devastation. So I'll, I'll be right back once we are getting into a few more fights. If the enemies are as easy as the last video, I will be upping the difficulty a bit earlier even though we are already a third of the way through in terms of difficulty. So We'll see how it happens. I think we just got lucky last time. We really should be seeing scarier things in difficulty 30. Well, no enemies just yet. Just been sitting around, slowly harvesting these resource zones. Which is a little bit annoying since you do slide around a lot in space. I am considering adding a small PID, which I can just turn on and off. Which just stops me from moving completely. Because doing this manually is surprisingly annoying. Am I ever going to be free from the Buccaneers? Maybe not. Also, I've changed my shells. They're now 500mm, but I'm still really not happy with them. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through another red portal, increase the difficulty, because I'm sick of seeing Buccaneers at this point. And we're going to change my guns pretty completely, actually. I'm just really not happy with them at the moment. So, I'll be right back once we find a red portal. Okay, it's over 20 minutes later after that last clip. The only enemy I eventually saw was another Buccaneer. So, I've now moved over to another difficulty. We're now in difficulty 35. And I'm going to be replacing all of our weapons while we have this brief safe period at the moment, since it will take some time before enemies arrive. So, I'm going to be completely removing the railguns, and instead, I'm going to be going with a laser system. The reason for this is kind of threefold. First of all, I am really unhappy with the railgun I built. I don't know what happened, but I messed up almost everything. The sizes, for instance, were completely wrong. For some reason, I was using the two meter auto loaders, and all I needed was the one meter for how I'd set up the shells, so they're twice the size for the same efficiency which is just stupid. Then it looks like they're dangerous. I think they're not armored up well enough, so one good hit could have easily taken out a whole wing. I'm just really unhappy with them, so we're saying goodbye. And then the other two reasons is that, first of all, we're having problems aiming directly down. Building a two-axis turret with the laser system in the core of the craft is super easy, and that eliminates that problem. And it's also very good against small targets, which is the final issue. Small flyers are going to kill us. If we have our current weapon systems, unless we have a backup weapon, they're just going to kill us. So instead, we're going with the laser system, which completely um, eliminates that. I think I'm going to try and go with a continuous laser, because I find those a lot more fun. Though, I'm not the best at building lasers. I think I can make a decent, well, a decent enough one to work in the next 20 or so minutes while we're safe. So I'll be right back once I've made some progress and I've stripped out all of our current weapons which should give us loads of resources. Most of our cost is actually, where are you? Is actually in our railgun, so just pop those there and I'll be right back. Well, it's polite of you to be a test subject. Well, you didn't really have enough health to test properly, and I'm only like a quarter of the way done, but at least we know the laser kind of works. Yeah, I had to just quickly throw down, throw down this turret because the enemy was directly underneath us. Okay, lots of work to do. Okay, so we're getting really close to being done now. So, no one's attacked us just yet. Turns out the laser systems are far cheaper than the old railgun system, so they probably won't do as much damage. It is going to be instant damage, so we are always going to get that advantage, and it looks creepy. Just testing out different colour schemes for them. The one on the left is like a void beam. Ooh, I'm going to call it a void beam. That's very cool. So, 
I'm not sure where to actually put the turrets. Now, thankfully, thanks to the... this thing, we can put them pretty much anywhere. They don't have to be truly connected to the laser system, which currently is taking up both of these halves in the main core. I just don't know where. Uh, I'm thinking either we put them here, or we put them here on the underside of the wings. If they're on the underside of the wings, it does separate all the vulnerable points a little bit. I do currently have some missile interceptors I was messing around with, and those will just go wherever the lasers aren't. I don't really need that as much now, because I could go with laser defense. Um, I don't know, but we need to decide soon. We've been very lucky and not been attacked since that tiny thing, but... Let's just sort out a turret design, which I'm going to build on top, and then just copy and paste, because otherwise I'm going to feel a bit sick building upside down all the time. It needs to be quite a small turret, since it's going to be a... Mm. Okay, so we can do this in two ways. Uh, the more cheesy way, and the less cheesy, more, uh, more annoying way. So the cheesy way would be a one-axis turret, and then on top of that we put an elevation turret then this elevation turret won't actually care about hit detection on the craft itself, as in, well, I'll just show you what happens if we count this as a number four weapon. Go to number four. As you can see, the blocks can actually go through the craft. And that can make some really cool looking turrets, but they are physically a bit glitchy. But I don't really care. I'm not going to be too cheesy with it. It's more just for looks, so I think I will go with that. So we are going to go with the more cheesy option here. Actually, would that even work? See, I don't know if that will work because of the transceiver. So that will need to be like this. Then the other transceiver will be inside. And then... Yeah, now I'm just confusing myself because I'm very easy to confuse because I am not a smart person. It's going to be quite a tall turret then, isn't it? And I guess I could put it inside the craft a bit, so... So this is the armour I'm going to put it around. So only this onwards is actually sticking through. And then we don't even need to do that because this one isn't actually connecting. That should work. Cheesy as it is. No, I think it's too cheesy. I don't know. I'll be right back once I have a vague idea. See, this is why I, ha I have to edit out a lot of stuff from these videos, because I am not a very decisive person. I mean, that's not really a good test, but, yep, flying squirrel. Okay, so let's see if this works. Yep, that definitely works. Now, we can always swap them to pulsed lasers, which I tend to find work better in the future if we want to. I just prefer the continuous, because I just think it's way more fun seeing just a hole being burnt into the target. Wow, we really need more fuel in this craft. I think I may have removed some of it whilst changing things around. Anyway, okay, so that works. We just need to make an armoured core around it. And it'll go here. I'm just realising now there's not a true middle, which is going to be really annoying. Um, well, I could always just push this one further back. I am really rushing right now. This is like as fast as I can build. As you can tell, it's already quite slow. So, like that. So it'll go there. Okay, so bore a little hole in there. Oh, one just back again. Again, quite a small craft. And melted. Actually, not as small as I thought, but it was enough to down them. Remember, the, the laser does less damage the further away we are, and we are miles away. Nice to know that we outrange missiles with this thing. Oh, that was brutal. Lovely. Okay, well, that was nice. Don't really know what that was, honestly. But yeah, uh, more fuel tanks. Obviously, very, very needed. Now, let's build up a proper turret cap for this thing, put the lasers on the side, then we can get moving again. I mean, this is too cheesy, right? Manual aim plus super zoom in. I just wanted to try out once, okay? I'm not even going to be involved in that fight because I'm still building at the moment, I'm just escaping things. 
Just wanted to showcase the main strength of lasers. Just pinpoint accuracy. Ooh, those things are sturdy. They're also quite far away. Maybe I should make the barrels longer. I don't really want to because I don't like how it looks. But yeah, essentially the longer those barrels are, since I'm using... Where are you? The laser optics. Yeah, that one increases the damage you do at long range. That's all they're made of. And if I get more of those, it means I'm doing more damage. Because remember, I'm also 1,600 altitude. So I'm constantly going to be far away from targets. Even if they're directly underneath me. So I obviously need that to be quite good. That's way too far away to do any real damage. I mean, you can do a little bit, but the amount of damage being wasted. I have increased the size of the barrels, so now it's like, at, at 4 kilometers, I think the damage is like 58%. Wait, that's Scarlet Dawncraft. Is that the singularity? That's not a singularity, is it? What's scarier here? Probably you, because of those guns you have. Also, I'm being attacked by a fly right now in real life, and I'm trying to get it away from my face. Yeah, this reminds me the, the accuracy has also got a terrible, so we're hitting all the blocks around the area rather than kind of um, just going straight through the target, which is what we want. Also, this, this weapon uses up a lot of fuel. It may seem strong, but it is burning through resources. Maybe I'll redesign the front, because I kind of hate being in this third person all the time. I would like to be able to see what's going on, but as you can see, I can't. I want to spawn in. Oh, that's heading towards me, isn't it? Okay, let's not get hit in space by a bloody broad, uh, broadsiding boat. Slice it open. The damage is still not the best, honestly. It's got a stagger fire in here, so I have to see if I can take out some of the barrels. Somewhere in the back is that really annoying advanced cannon. How much damage is it doing to us? Our armor's pretty good. We are very heavily armored, to be perfectly honest. I can't tell where those shots are coming from. Remove the sails. Make it easier for me to see. Super high health targets are going to be a nightmare for this. Against glass cannons, we're going to do well. Yeah, I legitimately can't tell where the shots are coming from. Why am I having such trouble pinpointing that? I think in a brawl we are going to win, though, just because it can't broadside us. Oh, it went all the way through the target there. Is, oh, is that whole thing a gun at the back? Oh, I see. I thought that was part of the decoration. Well, a certain explosion, so I think I got it. It's hard to tell. I'm just slowly burning away at the armor of this thing. Oh, it's got lots of little cannons. Okay. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, friendly, helpful nuke. You're both friendly and helpful. That didn't really scratch us all that much. Tis not even but a scratch. And into the water you go. And I need to grab all this resource and go. Okay, so I have seen some glaring problems with this. Our sustain is terrible. We don't have enough engine power. And honestly, we just don't do enough damage. Just in general.
it'd probably make more sense to build the things I'm building first, then add the internals, you know, when it's got some defense, but no. Because that would have required me thinking for a second. And yes, these are just the prefab engines, I will be replacing them later, but right now I just want engines in place. Oh, no, 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 this is why I should have been protecting them, even though I just mentioned it. Wait, who's actually attacking me? Is it you? Oh, you're teeny. And you're gone. Uh, was it you then? You're also kind of small. Oh, smoke defense though. Ooh. Oh, is that gonna stay upright? Close. What a cool design. Seriously, that thing was awesome. And one final enemy. I think I may just go to a blue portal and up the difficulty, honestly. I think that's where we're at right now. We've managed to get a lot of resource. The laser has been really good for just gathering resources from enemies, so I think we should find a blue portal and just go through it, and then we can have more building time, perhaps, to start the next video. I think that might be the smart thing to do now. Make sure we have missile defense, maybe add some shields, add some proper engines, extend the wings finally, extend the body, and then add these two pods at the back. I think that's what I'm going to do. Why am I not doing any damage? Once again, I went straight through the target, then forgot to swap where I'm firing. Is that the Atlas? Yeah, we really need to go through a blue portal. Okay, so... I'm just going to escape all the enemies now until I find a blue portal. I'll be right back. Oh, that's not nice. I didn't consider- oh, there we go. Just how bad this thing now handles when out of space. It is atrocious. It can fly. It can still fly, don't get me wrong. The lift is still plenty enough to get this thing airborne and keep it airborne. We can still move around and everything else. Although I have just messed with the pitch. See, it's fine. We're going in a straight line. Trying to do any small maneuver, though, is like piloting a whale through the atmosphere. I can't say I've done that before, but I can't imagine it's a very easy thing. Now we can finally get to work building this thing up. So once again, I will go into the designer mode for this because... Honestly, it just makes me a little bit nauseous building in this, uh, if you can't hold the craft still when you're doing loads of stuff. It's just for ease of use, and because we have the RTGs powering the engines, it's not even like I'm saving on resources by doing this, it's purely because it's so irritating building in this mode. So a bit of a change of plan, I'm going to be leaving the video here because I want to see some feedback on the weapons we're currently using and what weapons we should move on to in the future. At this point we do have enough resources, I could potentially install some small particle cannons for when we go over the target so we can do a quick burst of damage using up all of our energy. I could also reinstall some railguns, um, I could even go with extremely large missiles. I'm trying to avoid missiles, but if people want it, perhaps I could do that. Or even a cram bomb. Um, there's a lot of different options we can go with here, so tell me in the comments. I will be reading them as always. And tell me what you think about the lasers. Personally, I think they're loads of fun to use, but I do also understand they're a bit weird to watch. So, yeah, be completely honest. If you like them, tell me. If you hate them, tell me as well. It always helps out. Now, for things I will be doing between videos before I read the feedback is I'm going to be building these pods back here and building them quite upwards. The bottom of them, I'm going to I'm going to put our missile defense, so our interceptors. Then the top, I think I'm just going to have like fins and everything else, so making it mostly decorative, or maybe a little bit of turning stuff, but it's mostly just going to hold more batteries and more engines. That's the main purpose of this. The laser systems, if we do end up keeping them, I can extend this. Currently, I want this to look more like scaffolding, but I could extend this completely, and then we've got all this space to play with. And actually, the wings are still mostly hollow at the moment, so we do have more 
space for laser stuff if I end up keeping them. Personally, again, super fun to use, but tell me what you think. So with that, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, then of course, likes, favorite, shares, comments, all that good stuff, helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that From the Depths is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Today was loads of fun, and it took all day to record because I am very slow at building and changing things around, and I imagine most of that was cut. Sometimes it feels weird being a YouTuber. Thank you for watching. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.